Welcome to all our TV viewers to Women on Fire. Today we have a new subject and it's called the seed and the sower. So sit down, make yourself comfortable, get your cup of tea like us and let's get together and discuss what it is to the believer, the meaning of the sower and the meaning of the seed for the end times. Remember, we are talking about the end time army, the last day bride of Christ. So, let's see. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to us? The sower. Who is the sower? Well, if we, um, we look at the scripture regarding the sower. Yeah. It's such a broad topic, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. <laughs> we can talk anything. <laughs> so you see, which angle do we want to take it today? Yeah. Is it from the point of seeing God as the sower and we are the seed or from our own personal lives where we become the sower and the things we do becomes the seed. That's right. So as we look at it today, I think we are, we've come in, we are talking within ourselves and to you viewers, what does it really mean that is the seed? I would probably look at it from, you look, we look at the Bible, we, you, we hear about the parable of the sower, the, the, the farmer that went out trying to sow the seed and what happened along the line with that seed. We have those that were choked off, we have those that actually fell on the right soil and it grew. So from our own personal lives, what do I consider to be the seed? I, get, I usually like to give illustrations. Go you for know, it. when Go, I give testimony. Because I, we all <laughs> see the images, for example, right? <laughs> uh, most of us, we are used to, you know, when the phones will be going off. Maybe that particular time you want to get the dinner ready and the phones are ringing and you pick them. And, you know, I used to get so angry because I picked the phone, it's one salesperson, and the phone is going and you hear me screaming, what again? But you know what? One day I picked that phone, I just finished screaming. As I dropped the phone, I felt inside of me, what happened if, you, if it was your church member that actually <laughs> made that phone call? <laughs> and right there I said to myself, this is not a good seed yes. from a child of God. Yes. And since then, I leave, I picked the phone, I, you will hear me say, it's a busy time now, please. Don't go this time. I try to change Praise it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're absolutely right. Everything we do in our daily life as seeds we are sowing to our destiny. Sometimes we don't realize in things we say, thoughts we think, we could be either blessing or cursing our destiny. Sometimes we can be loose in the things we say and God is wanting us to restrain that looseness mm -hmm. so we can really know what we are saying. A sower doesn't, doesn't throw uh, wheat seeds and, and good seeds together. It's not meant to. It's not meant to. And I believe like if you call yourself a believer, you really embody Christ in you. So what you sow, like seeds, it should be seeds of Christ. And to me, like it's hard to think like, you know, you're, you're trying to please people. It's like don't think that way. Try to think like your only audience is God. Mm -hmm. And whatever seeds you sow, He sees those seeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't worry on what people think about you. And just focus on what God sees, that's all. Yeah. That, that is so right, right, you know. Yeah. Confession time. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think years ago, mm -hmm. what is so and so city so says? What will they think? What will they ah, what, what? Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I've come to the conclusion through experiencing closer and closer mm -hmm. to Jesus, having relationship with him, getting closer all the time began to realize who cares 
what others think unless yeah. I am behaving mm -hmm. in a manner that is offensive to God and them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then That's we right. ought to care. Yeah. But the most important thing is what is Jesus seeing right now? Mm -hmm. What is my loving Father thinking right now? Mm -hmm. Is he saying, good on you, my champion, or is he saying, I got to work harder on you. <laughs> <laughs> you are not ripe yet. Don't fall off the tree. <laughs> you won't taste very sweet. <laughs> you might be a little bit sour. <laughs> so. But yeah. sometimes in our lives too, you know, that there's things inside us, yes. you know, that was planted a long time ago and that we need to get rid of. Yes. And we're sometimes not aware of it. That's right. Right. So, you know, many times I ask the Lord, look, why am I this way when I shouldn't be? You know, and ask him to reveal where this has come from. Because, yes. you know, sometimes we plant seeds or plant, seeds are planted in us and they start tapping in and they're not the right sort of seeds that That's God right. wants to grow in our lives. I think but from what you're saying, yeah. It is time to expose some things that are happening yeah. to many Christians mm. unbeknown to them. That's right. Why am I doing this which I wish not to do? Yes. Paul yes. said that. That's right. Wretched man that I am, the That's things right. that I want to do, I don't do, the things That's that right. oh, I don't want to do, I do, and yeah. all these things. Why? Why is this like this? Yeah. Well, there is a scripture that gives us a key, and it's in the book of Exodus. Mm -hmm. And it talks about the iniquity of the forefathers mm -hmm. That's right. visiting mm -hmm. the children. It's not talking about the sins of the forefathers. It's no. not talking about the transgressions of the mm -hmm. forefathers. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the iniquity okay. of the forefathers yes. that is visited mm -hmm. upon the children to the third and fourth generation. Mm. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you have this tendency mm. yes. <laughs> and you don't know where it's coming yes. from? Yes. It's like a wind is blowing this way mm. and you, you, you're a tender little tree and you're, you're not mm. thick and sturdy yet mm. and this wind goes and you have this tendency. And then you say, no, 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 no. This is not what God wants. This is not what God says. This is not the word. You kind of feel like. And I believe that this is the visitation of the iniquities of forefathers. So what do we do with that? Get grounded in the word. Like, um, because the word of God is like a mirror. You can see all your all your sins and all the things you do that you're not even aware of and get rooted in the Word so that God can uproot you from all, you know, all your transgressions and all your bad, I don't know, your beats in your you're life. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. What a good analogy, what a good uh, view yes. of that. And, and I think also like my sister was saying sometimes these seeds are manifesting in different way and you don't really know where they are coming from. Yes. And like you just said, you know, we look at the scripture it talked of it's talking about the inequities of generations before now. And I think that then brings us to, you know, there's a place in the scripture that says if the foundation is not right, what can the righteous actually do? And I think that really brings us to the point that Yes, the challenges and things will come around us that will make that seed. You yeah. know, that seed of Christ, that, that seed in That's us right. not to really grow. The seed we have not to grow, something we want to choke them. Mm -hmm. But if we only remember just the ordinary seed, how they struggle before yeah. they become that mighty tree. Mm -hmm. And to put our focus on God, yes. to yeah. guide us That's as we right. go through the journey. Yeah. That's Right. That's right. And that yeah. reminds you of the scripture in Luke 9, 62. Yes. Yeah, I say like. Let me look for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll read Luke it. Luke 9, 42. Yes. yes, just read it to us. Jesus replied, No one who puts a hand on the plow and looks back is fit for a service in the kingdom of God. So it says like, you know, 
you're a farmer, like, but you don't give up, be relentless and be steadfast, even sometimes it's hard or sometimes you get discouraged, but just don't give up no matter what, because God's grace is sufficient for all of us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't it true that we want sometimes to give up? Yes, that's right. All. <laughs> but it's not about giving up, right? No. Yes. No. See, Christ, uh, he didn't give up on us. He and God oh, never Lord. ever gives up on oh, us. Wow. Okay, no matter what oh. we do, he's always there for yes. us. He understands us. Yes. He knows our pain. He knows what we're going through. And all we have to do is speak to him. And he will heal us. Yeah. You know, he's such a forgiving, loving father. Yes. And we are so grateful for that. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, as you say that, I remember the image of the Lord Jesus mm. saying, kind of, can you take that cup away from me? <laughs> he felt what we feel yes. when some storm is on our way. Yes. He felt everything we felt. He suffered. Yes. He went through everything because that made him a true intercessor, a true priest for us. You know, that could relate to our weaknesses and so on. He did feel, wow, he knew what he was born for. He knew his destiny. And I tell you, you know, in these last days, the number of the, of the martyrs will be completely completed. And some of us already know what we were born for. When the hour comes, there is a little thing in, inside of it. Ah, oh, do I got to go through this? Mm -hmm. yeah. But your will be done. Yes. Yes. Because the amazing love of God will not permit us to go through more mm -hmm. than we can handle. Amen. It is his promise. Amen. So that means to say, if he chooses certain things for us, certain trials, mm -hmm. certain mm -hmm. sufferings, certain persecution, mm -hmm. certain problems, mm -hmm. is that we have been already uh, uh, be made, made worthy to go through it. When we start thinking in the right perspective, oh Lord, I am worthy to go through that. You made me worthy to go through this. It's an honor. What a privilege. I'm being persecuted and being spoken evil of me. I didn't do any of the things that I've been told. Can you relate to that? Yes. You know, they're talking in this thing. I didn't do any. I didn't even think it. Yes. Sometimes I think God like has so much more faith in us than we have in ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of a story I heard in Africa where a pastor was in a village and um, all these militants came around the village and was killing everybody. And this pastor said to his wife and to the militants, look, I just need to say a prayer first before you shoot me, you know. And uh, anyway, they prayed and prayed and the militants didn't touch them. Three months later, he saw one of the militants down the street and said, why didn't you shoot us? And he said, I couldn't touch you because there was a ring of fire around you. <laughs> right? and, and I was really thinking to myself, what would I do in that situation? Right. right, and many people are facing this today. That's right. What would we do in that That's right. situation? Well, what can we compare the end time army with the seed, the end time bride with the seed? I can only. I'm yes. Just, yeah, I was just thinking, you know, like I've been working with children around the world, and just recently I was in Vanuatu, and I can see like God's raising up a in time army in the children mm -hmm. and you know there were girls that just in a the school they're hearing and seeing the Lord every day in their school grounds you know and how they actually have that closeness a relationship with God you know and they can see open heavens you know and God is already equipping these young people around the world you know and in a way and he's in a hurry because there's so many of them that's so right. many of them that are really standing firm before the Lord. And these young girls in the school are getting persecuted by their friends because they're doing funny things and strange things, but they're standing on what God's asked them to do. That's right. 
you know, and that's what we have to learn to do. You know, no matter what battles are around us, we need to stand on the word of God and do exactly what God tells us to do. I hear, even now, words coming. Arise! Arise, my church. Arise, my beloved. Let me see your face. Come with me. Let us go. The call of the bridegroom to the bride. Come. It's time for the believers to wake up that there's so much more than what we have in God. There's so much we can we can glorify God in, but a seed must fall into the ground and die. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is how I sense that the bride of Christ dies to herself. She is ready to leave her family home. We do. We leave the family home. We leave everything we grew up with, everything we were accustomed to, because the call of the beloved. We have fallen in love with him. He wooed us with his love. Come with me. I'm worthy. (laughs) The, The thing is, the question is, how worthy is he to each and every one of us to drop everything for him? This is the question, beloved believers, that we need to ask ourselves right now. How worthy? So worthy. You know, even considering looking around the world, so much going on. Mm. One may just see it, we consider, because we drop everything for him. Are we actually sowing the seed of peace? Yes. The seed of peace, the seed of love, the seed of righteousness. This, you know, because I, I say to me, if we sow the right seed and trust God to guide us, how peaceful and yeah. beautiful yeah. will it be around us? Yeah. You know? I think the most important of all this is to sow like the seed of God's love in everyone because mm. in this world like everyone is just searching for love and mm. no love can ever satisfy except That's God's right. love. Yes. And if we sow God's love, the seed of God's love in people's mm. hearts, maybe the passion could grow mm. in them to yes. love God that way That's as well. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The seed of the love. Mm. Mm. You know, I remember speaking Uh, with somebody about this, uh, the royal priests and talking about the bride of God, uh, this this wonderful uh, believer that has uh, entered into uh, a a love relationship with the Lord Jesus, uh, a trust relationship Mm -hmm. because, you know, we can love God but not trust Him enough, Mm -hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's hang right. on, this area don't touch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you can touch this, this, that, that, yeah. but that area is, no. is my yeah. jurisdiction. <laughs> but God is calling us to trust Him. That's right. He is calling us yes. to a relationship. Mm-hmm. It's amazing that our Heavenly Father, Mm. our Lord Yeshua, that the Holy Spirit will trust us. Mm. What? Yet, He does. Mm. He believes in us. Mm. He believes in what He made inside of us. He believes in the work He's been doing. He's like the the potter. I know what I, I'm going to finish with this when this lump is yeah, finished. It right. won't be a lump anymore. At the moment, it's got kind of a hole there, you know, mm-hmm. but it's taking shape. Yes. And you can hear the lump say, Oh, ah, yeah, right. ah, right? Yeah. Because this wheel is going, ah, it's <laughs> the dealings of God that makes the vessel perfected. Mm-hmm. How wondrous the love and the trust of God. And this is what he wants us to enter into, a relationship of love and trust. 
And the thing with the vessel too, he wants us to be empty yes. so he can fill us up Amen. with what he wants to fill us up with. You know. Thank you, Juna. <laughs> Thank you, Juna. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of that very thing, not right now, but before yeah, yeah. getting together, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of that very thing yeah. and I had an image. Because yeah. the Lord speaks a lot in images yeah, to me, right. you know, and me I see too. this and me I see too. that, and sometimes <laughs> I lie down and things don't go off. That's right. Yeah. You know, you begin to see all these people yeah. and these things yeah. happening, yeah. and it's like it's a three-dimensional three movie and it doesn't go off sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but I thank God for that. Yes. So I was seeing this image. Mm -hmm. There was a jar mm -hmm. that had uh, some water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he comes with another jar and begins to pour oil. Yeah. And keep on pouring oil and it gets to here and the water is, is, and the water on the oil is they're not quite mixed all together, no? But, you know, the bubbles of oil are yes. moving and all these things. And, and lo and behold, begins to overflow. Mm -hmm. And begins to overflow. Yes. And keep on pouring and giving to overflow. Yeah. At the end, it's all oil. Mm. And I think that's what God wants of us. That's right. Yeah. And, and I just say, as if he's putting in that seed of love mm. to the point of it having to replace the seed of hatred. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Replacing the seed of hatred, mm. taking away that seed of pain. Mm. You know, just end, you, you know, like, you know, you have to dig the ground, plow <laughs> it, get it yeah. ready before the seed goes in. Mm. So which means yeah. as we walk, you know, talking about the seed and the <laughs> sower, right. the, the, the beautiful seed will come and take root, but we just have to let it have its way yeah. by let, you know, that empty it all, make it, you know, putting it before the Lord. Mm. This is it, Lord. Yeah. Just have your way. Yes. Let a seed of bitterness, seed of hatred, whatever it is that is the wrong seed, yeah. trusting God to replace it yeah. with the right seed yeah. and to bear fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's right. The scripture tells us, put on Christ. Yes. The more of him and less of us. <laughs> yes, and that's right. That's what John said. Yeah. Let him increase. Yes. Put on Christ. Yes. Put on love because yes. he is love. Amen. And I believe in these last days, the greatest weapon of all yes. is love. Yes. yes. Amen. Because the devil can't stand it. That's right. <laughs> he can't stand it. He was worshipping love and now he's out of love. Yes. And he can't stand it. So when you begin to emanate love, no devil can be near. Yes. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so one of the biggest, and that's why God is calling women, Yes. Because women have grown to be mamas yes. and lovers, men also, no? But what happens yeah. is a sacrificial love. The woman right. has a sacrificial, I'm a little biased, but I, I love my, I'm married, I love my husband, and I love God. But God uses women to release yes. love. Yes. He uses men as well. Mm -hmm. But they're like vessels, tender vessels. Mm -hmm. And, and they can be like sponges that pour out love mm -hmm. over a scalding, hot body, mm -hmm. refreshing yes. people with this love. Mm -hmm. And the weapon that will be the strongest weapon of all in the last day mm -hmm. will be love. Yes. Because it was the weapon that defeated Satan. Yes. It was the, the, the weapon that put him publicly mm. in That's shame. That's right. Love. Yes. Crucified. Mm. So shall we pray? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord thank Father, you, Lord Jesus. we thank you so much you, for your love. That you love us with an everlasting love. Lord, we thank you for the words and the visions and, and, and the inspirations that you are giving us. Not only just us here, but whosoever there is listening and seeing and having images and, and being touched by you. Lord, by you, by your word. Bless everyone, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for the honor and the privilege to be called the sons of God, Lord. 
to be called to be set afar aside to, to be your instruments of love in this earth to bring the creation back into the harmony of heaven lord lord i pray that everything that you have brought forth will bear much fruits fruits of righteousness fruits of peace and joy and deliverance lord lord father that those that are discouraged will be lifted up that the ones lord that have been looking for an answer will get their answer lord for those that have been crying out for closer intimacy with you they will be given your key lord and that the scrolls will come from heaven and be set forth in the hearts of those that are hungry and thirsty for truth that they may be satisfied lord and i pray for every soul that is lost in the deserts of unbelief and hatred that they will be found by your love and your light Amen. in the name of Yeshua your holy son amen thank you we wish you a wonderful week <laughs> may the seeds of righteousness that you have sown bear much fruit for you and may you be granted grace and favor of God to plug out of your life every seed that was not from him mm. that you will fulfill the destiny mm. that God has called you for mm. we look forward to get together next week with you, you. until we meet again god bless you mm.